In this video, we will begin looking at factoring and finding the greatest common factor. What the greatest common factor is, is the largest term we can divide everything by. Often, we can do a number m using mental math, but on variables, it will be important that we use the lowest exponent on any common factors. Let's take a look at some examples and see if we can identify the greatest common factor of this expression. Looking at the numbers 15, 10, and 25, we can see that we can divide each of those factors by 5. Next, we look at the variables and notice that they all have the variable a. We will also use the lowest exponent on a, which is a 2. This means each term has at least 2, possibly more, factors of a. 5a squared is our greatest common factor. Let's try another example to see if we can find the greatest factor we can divide each term by. In this problem, we have the numbers 4, negative 12, and 20. We can see that each of those can be divided by 4. Also, we notice that all the factors have at least 1 a. Using the lowest exponent, or a to the first, we see that we have to keep 1 as an exponent on our greatest common factor. Technically, this 1 does not have to be written. All the factors also have a b, and we will use our lowest exponent, which is a 6. 4ab to the 6th is the greatest common factor of this expression.